Hello, my beautiful friends, your boy Seth here. And you know, um, if there's one thing that we Nintendo players love, it is a good uh, tactics role-playing game. And while we're waiting on the release of Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp next month, why not check out uh, Vanarus Tactics from Toge Productions, which just released uh, on the Nintendo Switch eShop. Uh, huge thanks to Toge for sending us along a copy to check out and, uh, and show off to you guys. This is a new sort of pixel art um, strategy tactical RPG. Um, looks to be sort of in the vein of like a uh, Advance Wars or an Into the Breach or something like that. Um, I'm a big fan of Toge's games. Uh, I love, you know, they're responsible for games like Coffee Talk and Rising Hell. And, you know, they, they've just got a great track record for the games that they publish. So I'm excited to, to uh, take a look at this. Well, let's jump in. See what we got. I think this has been on PC for a little while, but it's just now hitting console. You have nowhere to run now. Surrender. This is not gonna happen. Not again. I don't know who that is. Hmm. Only Loudson, or maybe Yautsen, can save one's life. If we can't get you to understand that, I'll let him tell you that in person. Brother! Another of your kind, huh? I'll ask nicely for the last time. Surrender. Otherwise, the consequences will be severe. I should say, too, uh, if the English translation seems um, maybe a bit off, this is from an, an Indonesian studio, I believe. At least Toge is based in Indonesia, and many of the games they publish are from Indonesian independent game developers. So oftentimes the English localization might not quite be super polished. That's okay. We give them a pass because the games are usually really good. Nigel here says, we're willing to face them. This time we fight back. All right, we're getting right into it. Defeat all enemies. We've just got the one, at least for now. Morgana, remember to, whenever possible, attack the enemy from their sides or back. This will increase your chances of hitting them. And you get to keep your distance if you want to hit them with your crossbow. All right. So, I guess let's get behind them. Attack. Okay, so maybe I do need to, maybe I do need to get to the side of him for that. Or maybe I need to be like a space away in order to attack? Is that what the deal is? Let's see. Let's try this. Yeah, that must be what the deal is here. Okay. Boom! Oh, well, if she already had her crossbow anyway, I guess I could have gotten further away. That's alright. Um, okay. Oh, interesting. I can position her as she waits. I wonder... It seems like positioning might be quite important. Like, had I positioned her... That's gonna hurt. See, had I positioned her to look to the left... Presumably... Um... Oh, and he's only got a knife, so he can't... Uh, presumably that would have... Made it, uh... More difficult for him to hit me. Okay, so let me try facing this way. And then for her... Let's see if I can move kind of further away. I would assume I can still hit him with a crossbow from this distance. Okay. And I would assume he's probably going to try to come from that angle. But he might now, at this point, come from this side. Yeah. Interesting. But, let's see which way he faces now. Okay. Okay. But that's alright, because I can just move here. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, we'll just wait like that. Oh, she can. She's gonna be attacking twice. Interesting. Um, get up here. Okay, so you can jump. Good to know. All right. And now she gets to attack again. This will probably finish him off. Close to it. Uh, I assume he can probably come up here and attack me too. Let me actually put myself in the corner here. That might be my best course of action. He might just attack me dead on, yeah. He's moving pretty far away. I don't know if I have enough movement for that. I could attack him face on. Which isn't ideal, but this might be enough to take him out. Ta-da. You win. Sun. Most of my troops shifted to the village's northern, northern gate. But where's your brother? Where's Adrian? He's almost my age, Dad. I took him outside disguised as a soldier. He'll be waiting for you two under the bridge to Araguaya with some supplies I could spare. And how about Zara? Have you heard about her? I'm sorry, Aunt. I don't know about her. And from Araguaya, where do we go? I don't really know the situation out there, I'm sorry. Your best bet is Anumbra, going through Casamira. Many of the rebels are fleeing from there, from what I heard. I couldn't ask for much information because my superiors know I have relatives in Ramona. That'd be too suspicious. That's a huge sacrifice of yours already, kid. We appreciate it. I guess it's time for us to go, sister. I love the sort of chunky sprites. Here, take this. Wait, this is the bracelet that I gave you when they took you from us. I'm glad you kept it for so long. I was always wearing it, never took it off. It'll bring you good luck. Hmm. <laughs> Cute. Take care, you three. I mean, I like fluffy animals. Seems okay to me. Yeah, even like the environment art here. I like it. Yeah, it's just kind of like chunky. Oh, here's Adrian. I've seen them, they're coming for us. What, how? How, how come do they find us? They must be following us since we crossed the river. I know them well. If they're willing to attack us. We're probably being outnumbered. Morgana, Adrian, the enemy is coming from all sides. All of the sides. We're surrounded. Stay close to each other. Oh, snap. So this is where you've been hiding, huh? I knew you wouldn't go too far. Well, it's time to settle this. Show us what you've taken. We don't have that much to share. Don't lie to me. Do you think I don't know that one of those soldiers is Nigel's son? You convinced us to start this rebellion and you're now fleeing. Things aren't any easier for us. You still refuse to acknowledge how grievous this is, huh? Let's teach you a lesson then. Alfonso is not a happy camper. All right. Let's do it. Alfonso's the most dangerous of them. He's got an, is it, a, a stock? 
That weapon causes a status effect. Bleed. He'll probably focus on one of us to make them bleed. When someone is bleeding, they lose a small portion of their HP for each panel they move. It'll take them two to three hits to cause that, so... If you're one hit away from getting your bleed bar full, try to stay away from him. Alright. Little fourth wall break there. Same goes for the Chris you got there. It causes poison. Poison takes a decent portion of one's HP every turn, and it's based on their max HP. That being said, it makes sense to poison an enemy with high max health. It'll also take a few hits, so focus on someone. Alright. So, um... We definitely want to get rid of this dude pretty quickly. And I'm curious... Well, you know what? She actually might be more effective over here. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Let me test this out. I can still hit him from here. Okay, that's good. I wasn't exactly sure how that was going to work. I wonder if he can attack me from that ramp or from behind, despite the fact that I'm on a lower level than he is. Well, it certainly seems like he can. Okay. All right. Well, we, we definitely want to focus on taking this dude out first. Because um, I don't want him to make anybody bleed. Also, I have a skill. Throw shuriken. Interesting. Okay. Oh, it looks like it's only going to take two hits to poison. So, that's not bad. The two coyotes will move next. Alright. I don't know if there's a way to sort of fast forward through enemy turns. Um, that's maybe something we can look at the settings for. Maybe that's a thing. Alright, time for me to have a little bit of movement here. Do I focus on... Coyote's only got 36 health as opposed to... But I, I also don't want to leave her stranded here. Um, Whirlwind Strike, 15 HP. Yeah, this does more damage anyway. That works. I was gonna say, I don't know if that rebel has anything that they can attack with there. Um... I don't really like leaving my back exposed to that coyote. Uh, however, I would also sort of rather um, take this dude out first. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I figured he was gonna sort of focus on her, which is fine. Because I'm focusing on you, buddy. He should be poisoned after this. Yep. Cool. Like that. Coyotes are up. See, this is going to hurt because she's already not in great shape. Okay. I don't think he's going to be able to get close enough to do anything to anybody. It's fine. Alright. Yep. So, unlike in a lot of tactical RPGs, you can move after you've attacked, it looks like. That is not always the case in games like this, so that is interesting. A lot of times, after you've taken an action, uh, you will typically have to... Uh, uh, you're typically not able to move any further. 
Okay, he's poisoned now, so he's essentially going to take himself out. So I'm wondering now if I should start working on these coyotes. He's like a hit away. She must have a crossbow of some kind. Otherwise she could have moved faster, or uh, closer, yep. There's that poison damage. He is going to be able to get bleed on her with this attack, I think, which is not great. Yep. Okay. He's going to the poison is going to take him out. So I'm I'm actually not super worried about that. Um let's go ahead and start working on him. Who's actually next in the turn order? It'll be the Coyote next. So I imagine he's... I mean, he can attack me from any way he wants, honestly. Just face this way. Let me... I don't have an item to use, it looks like. It's unfortunate. Yikes. Can't attack him either. There you go. He's done. Oh yeah, she's... I think this is going to take her out, unfortunately. Oh! Dang. Off the roster, man. Okay. We got this rebel dude is up next. He's just going to attack him. That's okay because I'm going to get another hit on him on my next turn too. And I'm going to put poison on him. Um, I kind of want to stay out of her line of sight. He's only got one hit left in him. I might as well take him out. Of course, she can move that way. Okay. And this should put poison on him. Done. She will likely... Oh, okay. Yeah, the, the crossbow range is interesting. It doesn't have to move, like, laterally. It can move in ton of different directions. Alright. I will say, the game doesn't really pull any punches. It's a little bit more challenging than you might expect right out the gate like that. Uh, I'm just gonna let that dude sort of die off, because he doesn't have much left and he is actively poisoned. Um, let's go ahead and start working on her. I do have at least a healing herb with him, but I don't super need it with him yet. Uh, I actually wonder, what is this skill? Whirlwind Strike? Maybe, maybe this will attack in a radius? Maybe I can get them both with this? Is that a thing? It attacks on like a plus. Okay. All right. Well, in that case, I might as well just continue focusing. Okay. Now, he is in a little bit worse shape. I think what I'm just going to do with him is move him and try to heal. Um, that's good. Take that. Yeah, one more turn and he's out. I don't even know if he's he's going to be able to attack us before he's done for. We 
should be able to take her out next turn too. He's up next. We can hit her from the side here. Only six damage, huh? Okay. Well, let's focus on taking her out because I can still take another hit from that coyote. Done. No problem. I'll probably take a hit from the coyote here, or Nigel probably will. And then on this other rebel's next turn, uh, he will go down from poison. There you go. Okay. Let's go ahead and start working on this last coyote here. I want Nigel to heal. So we're actually just going to move him back a little bit. Oh, the healing herb looked like maybe it had an area of effect. Works for me. Ah, he didn't go after Nigel. He's trying to get a little distance, though. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hang on. I do like that you can undo movement. That's nice. This will poison him. Cool. Don't know how close I'm going to be able to get with... Okay. Okay, yeah, Nigel can't get super close, unfortunately. Um, that's fine. I'm tempted to heal with him right now, although I don't even know if I can, so I think I'm just gonna... You know what, I'm just gonna keep up the offense. Keep up that poison, even though... I'm likely going to go down in this next turn, assuming that he turns around and just immediately attacks him. Yep. Might not be able to take that hit. Okay, he did. Cool. He's running away pretty far. Nigel Nigel does not have hops like that. Uh, so I can't get quite that close. Adrian, though, on his next turn should be able to take care of this. Done. You win. Ta-da. All right. Morgana went down early, unfortunately. But we got levels on uh, Adrian and Nigel. No, please, let me go. Don't kill me. Will you please keep your dignity whilst we decide if you live or not? Shut up, kid. Keep watching our surroundings. I was desperate. I want my freedom back. I know you're feeling like this, too. They took it. Well, typo there. They took everything I had. How did you leave Ramona? We saw you leaving and followed you. And where'd you get these weapons? Well, they... They what? They gave us... Those soldiers. They wanted us to slow you down as... They suspected you were the ones with the stolen supplies. And you accuse me of betraying the others. How ironic. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Wait! Is he any worse than us? I mean, we were desperate as well, and at the first opportunity we had, we left without looking back. Please, listen to the man. 
Are you sure of that? We'd be killing another of our kind. We'd be contributing to the extinction of our own culture, our own people. You're very considerate, mister. I know who your son got his kindness from. Get out of here. <laughs> I like the cute little hop. Like, after this, like, intense scene, just like, whoop. So, we're off to Casimira. Yeah. Whilst I'm hopeful about all this, I feel bad for spending so many years in this place and leaving without a coin. Freedom. It's priceless. That's what matters. You're right. Yes. About Zara, do you think Boris knew something about her? When I asked him about my daughter, he seemed uncomfortable. He was always a good boy. I wonder if he didn't want to tell me something. Don't worry. I know she's fine. I can feel it. She must be pretty badass, just like you. Why did it take us so long to do anything? To be forced to work and not be able to see our kids anymore? Why are we okay with that for all these years? What were we thinking? It's because it involved our kids. We had two options. To stay and work to provide for them, or to flee and leave them behind. What I don't get is, why did they take Boris and Zara to the capital and not me? Their religion. It demonizes all the religions from the south. They believe that once you turn ten, you can't be converted anymore. They think we're all filthy creatures. If you recall that, you were already ten when that happened. Your brother, nine. There's the belief that the reason the south is miserable is our lack of faith in Yautzen, their god. You were too young to remember, but we used to live in an... What was that? Oligarchy? I'm not familiar with that word. As we natives were colonized by northern, northern families. When Venaris was founded by immigrants from the north, they promised it would be a place where northerners and southerners would be treated equally. And it became the first southern republic. Apparently, that's been a thing for a long time in the north. But things started changing when they realized we wouldn't stop praying to our own gods and doing our own rituals. At that point, they started calling us the Generation Zero. They split us from our young kids with the excuse that this is the only way to save them. And since then, we've been working like slaves to make this country grow, whilst our kids are being brainwashed by those at Iris, making them believe that we're evil. It works like this. We can tolerate you if you behave like us, dress like us, talk like us, and most importantly, idolize our idols. And to be honest, I'm done talking about this. Let's move. Interesting. I like the world that they've set up. And keep in mind, you know, this is a very, very small team, right? Um, making this game. So, pretty cool to have this much, like, world building in a, you know, from a team like this. Okay. Places that I can go back to and fight enemies are marked as green. Objectives are marked as red. All right, cool. So we can look at our party. It does look like we got a heal after uh, that scrap, which is good. Um, I'm wondering if this is... Okay, so... Those are the things that are equipped by my party. Just kind of getting a look at everything here. Um, may I know what is going on here?
We have we stumbled into a a group of uh, thieves. Doing a closer outsider, you're not getting anything from us. Not gonna lie, now you got me curious. What's so special that you two can't let anyone know about? See? If you didn't throw a tantrum about it, we'd be cool now. Still, I think we can settle this specifically? Right after dealing with the outsider. In a violent way. Well, well, well. They got a crew? Wait a minute, it's just me versus them? Where's the rest of my party? Oh, okay, I can choose where they're placed. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so he, Nigel, my boy didn't have a whole lot of range of movement, so I want to have him kind of close to the, oh no, that was Adrian. Okay, no, Adrian is good. Um, let's put Adrian here. And Nigel, though, I want to have Nigel by the stairs. He doesn't have a whole lot of range of movement. All right, so she's up first. Um, that dude's a little bit scary, not gonna lie. Kinda wanting to see if I can start working on him. Okay, he's too far away. Works. Leonco is up next. Skill explosion. Uh oh. Ouch. These folks are pretty well grouped together. Haste. Okay. All these folks are moving pretty fast already, in terms of their turn order. I don't like this guy. This guy looks like bad news. I'm gonna try to get uh, Adrian on him if I can. Um, although that's not looking great. Get some poison on some people at least. Let's see, what can I do here? I like having them like, you know, somewhat close at least. That's not gonna work. Espresso. Oh, that just um, brought her SP back up. Okay. I really want to take this dude out on my next turn if I can help it. This Leonco guy. Is that going to hurt his friend? Nope. Just me. Pretty localized explosion if you ask me. Uh, if I can help it, I really want to take out this Leonco guy on my next turn because I don't like the notion of uh, of him uh, having his friend there with like full SP. I feel like they're gonna have like healing ability or something like that. If I can just keep some distance away from this dude, I would do well to do that. Not a huge fan. See if I can maybe get some poison on. Eh. I might be better suited actually to just keep focusing on him because he should get poison with one more attack. There we go. That works. 
Sleep, wow, okay. I'm actually curious if I'm gonna have enough range to hit Buddy from anywhere close with uh, Morgana here. Um... No. But again, at least I can sort of keep a little bit of distance. I'll take that. Um, let me see what I can do here. Ugh, still can't quite hit him. What about from here? Still, he's too far away. Can I hit him from here? I can. Let's see if this will do enough. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. I still don't think he's going to be able to get close enough to hurt anybody. Unless he's got a ranged weapon. But he is about to become a problem. I'm going to have to figure that out pretty soon. Alright, she is next on my to-do list here. I don't want to expose myself to that guy, though. So maybe I should actually try to... Hmm. I might be able to take him out. Okay, great. Works for me. Is he awake yet? Nope. Okay, perfect. Whirlwind strike? No, because that might put her in the... I, I don't know or if that puts her in the blast radius or not, but hey, 20 damage on that, I'll take it. What is she going to do now? Alright. No big deal. He could probably attack Adrian. Yep. Now Adrian is poisoned. I was sort of hoping that all of that ruckus would wake him up, but... That's fine, I guess. I uh, can't take her out just yet. So, let me try to get some damage on this guy. I hate that Adrian... Is Adrian awake now, at least? After he just got socked? Alright. Alright, he's at least awake now, so that's something. Alright, well, Adrian is probably going to go down on his next turn anyway, so that's probably a bit of a throwaway. Can I attack her from the side from down here? Yes, I can. This should take her out. Beautiful. Now oh, we just got him. Let's see what I can do here. Well, actually, I might not have even needed to make that move. Okay, no, I do. A little too far. Okay, hey, Adrian didn't die. Check it out. Look at us go. I win. Adrian has learned dual hit. All right. Oh, snap. What's going on here? Is this the, the house you were just in? They're like raiding it? What's going on here? 
You tell us. The hell is going on here? Treason. Treason is the word for what's going on here. You failed Vanarus, and you know how we punish traitors, right? That's ridiculous. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> don't waste my time. Come in. <laughs> oh, come on, Alfonso. We let you live. You jerk. Can you back up this claim? His father was wearing his bracelet. It fell from his wrist when he stopped the woman from attacking me. Oh my gosh, Alfonso, you're such a jerk. Now you're going to get this kid killed. It's a huge misunderstanding. Don't look at me like this. I know it's yours. Soldiers, you know what to do. Yikes, man. Well, that sucks. Welp. Wait, Disco was it Dizikos? Were these people really fighting for a crate full of second-rate narcotics? They're acting weird and suddenly attacked me. Wasn't expecting this place to be so messed up. It was nothing like that last time I came here. Alright, so that is our next objective area there. That's it. We're a few kilometers away from the wharf. If we don't stumble upon any strange situation, we'll be able to get to Casimir pretty quickly. From there, we're pretty close to Anumbra. Alright, so there's the wharf. Um, we can go back to these locations and we can... Well, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go here. Um... You can shop. Which would be very nice. Cool. Whoa. Vampire cloak. Buy a bag. I, one thing I really like about this game is I like how the... I can get a Yerba Mate. Um, I like how low the numbers are. I, I know that that's like a, like a tiny, dumb thing. Um, okay, and this denotes like which members of the party can use it. Makes sense. Uh, I like how manageable the numbers are. I like that it is not some ridiculous thing. Like I have 155 gold and so the economy is somewhat precious and uh, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, I think this might be where we call it for this particular video, but look, this is a solid uh, little strategy RPG. From what I had read, because this has, again, been out on PC for a little while now, um, I'd read that the game is only about five or six hours in length, so it, it feels like if you just want, like, a, a solid little, you know, turn-based tactical uh, strategy RPG to play, like, over a weekend or something like that, I think this might be perfect for you. Uh, it's $9.99 on the Nintendo Switch eShop. There will be a purchase link in the uh, video description if you want to check it out for yourself. For 10 bucks, for, again, five, six hours of just a solid... I mean, you guys saw, right? Like, this this plays perfectly capably. Um, there was nothing here that left me sort of scratching my head or feeling like something didn't work right. You know, it's not doing anything like overly innovative in terms of its combat or anything like that, but like, it's just a solid little strategy game, man. I think the pixel art's really cute and chunky and stuff. I kind of dig it. I like the world building that's here. Um, you know, there's definitely some like translation, localization issues and things that get sort of lost in translation, but it's not too bad. Um... I think that this is very recommendable for it being what it is at the price it is and at the low ask of commitment uh, that it's asking. So, uh, Vanarus Tactics, check it out. Again, uh, links are in the video description if you want to uh, check out the eShop listing for this. We will also be talking about this 
uh, on our weekly Nintendo podcast, All N A Nintendo Podcast. Links to that are always in the video description as well. Huge thanks again to our friends at Toge Productions for giving us a copy of the game to check out and showcase to you guys and tell you guys about uh, Vanerous Tactics. Check it out. And for more videos like this, if you like Nintendo video content, you're already in the right place. All N right here on YouTube. Uh, so give us that like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you all in the next video. We love you very much. Bye-bye.